Okay, Aries. Let's see what's going on. You're my last one. Let's see. All right. So this is May 2024 love reading. So let's see the real situation, where you stand. So we have Page of Pentacles. There might be an offer coming in towards you. It could be towards Virgo Capricorn. Or this could be you think about an offer. You might be contemplating an offer, either to make one or whether you want to accept an offer. Oh, we have the tree here. This could be a past life connection. This could be also something to do with um, branching out a commitment to something. Okay. Seven of Cups. Yeah, you're kind of confused here. You're not sure what to do. Let's get the words on this page. I think this is an offer coming towards you. Okay. Um, truth. Sharing. Marry. Message. Oh. Okay, so someone's sharing a truth with you. Maybe someone's married. Are, so, are you finding out someone you're interested in is actually married, maybe? Or... Are you married to this person? Or someone could be sharing the truth that they want to marry you. Okay, take it how it might seem to resonate with your circumstances. I mean, you know if you just found out someone was married or... You know, you know how that will go for you. Let's see what's crossing you here. Oh, there's an ending. You might be ending with someone because you found out they were married. And you didn't know. Ah, but there's a lot of love here. Or you're ending a connection that maybe you're married because you have love for someone else. Oof. This could be complicated. It feels like there's a couple people here. I don't know. Let's see. What is the best thing for you can do here? Let's see. But it looks like there's an ending because of love here. <gasps> Commitment. Okay. This is... Oh, I did the opposite way. Well, that's all right. I'm not going to put it back. <laughs> I like that card. I'm not putting it back. I did the opposite that I wanted to, but that's okay. The world, yeah, ending for a new beginning. Looks like that's what's happening. You might be ending a connection or someone's ending a connection with someone else to be with you because that's where someone really wants to be. That's the truth. That's what's sharing. A message that's, okay, I'm doing this. Whether that's you or someone else. Let's see about um, the karmic ties, the past lives to this. Because we started out with right away with the, um, the charm with the tree. To me, that's past lives. So we have, okay, a page of swords. Okay, someone's trying to learn something, looking into something, maybe researching something. We have here a paintbrush. So this could be at, someone's actually painting at this time. Someone could be painting their house. Someone could be a professional painter or, I mean, artist, too, with the paintbrush. Let's see. Page of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. And we have here Seven of Wands. Yeah, it looks like maybe something in the past. Someone... Why do I? Oh my gosh. I never got this before, but I feel like someone went out on a limb, looked for something, and they got killed. It's like, you know, maybe they were, you know, trying to get somewhere, and this is a past life, and that they actually were very curious, being the Page of Swords, that they went too far out. But that, of course, is not going to be for everyone. Um, let me get the words on this. But there's something here about someone inquiring about something or learning something and needing to go maybe further than they expected. Okay, so here here we have confess, honest, immature, reunite, keep some money. So this could be someone this lifetime or it could be in that lifetime that someone's coming towards you, they're immature or they acted immaturely. They want to confess and be honest. They want to reunite and someone either is telling you to keep the money or you're telling them to keep the money or someone just kept the money. Let's see. Ooh, someone won money and they must have and they probably just kept it. Or maybe someone gave it to someone else to keep. Take it if it resonates, leave it doesn't. I mean, that's definitely more of a um, specific message there. But it sounds like someone won some money. So whether that's past life, yeah, I don't we're not gonna know that really, but it could be now. It could be happen now. Something could be connected to that. Okay, so now let's see. Why are you together, not together? Why are are you whatever you're in your connection here? Why are you in that like that let's see we have the queen of pentacles okay taurus virgo capricorn <clears throat> someone is um 
<clears throat> oh, someone wants to mend something. Okay, so this is something that maybe if you're with this person, someone wants to talk, they want to mend, they want to work this out, maybe put together in missing pieces. Or if you're not with someone, again, someone wants to mend something or work something out with you. You could be the Queen of Pentacles. They could be the Queen of Pentacles. Someone is, you know, financially stable here. We have the star. Okay, this is someone's hope, the wish, dreams, to work things out, to talk things through. To um, Someone feels that you're a stable connection for them, or vice versa. Here we go. Financially stable. Let's see. We have here love, the end, accuse. There's love here. There's definitely a strong feeling of love, but someone might accuse someone and someone might say, you know, no more of this accusing someone of something. Let's just work on this. This The, the star is a healing energy. That's why I feel someone saying, I don't want to, someone accuse someone maybe of not doing something or doing something or whatever it was. And they want to put an end to that and just live in the, the energy, the, the feeling of love. Okay, now... Let's move on to the future influences. Ooh, yeah, Ace of Swords speaking the truth or cutting out something here. Okay. What do we have here? The devil. Okay. So this could be someone is um someone could be dealing with a Capricorn. Someone could be saying, you know, you gotta speak your truth or we cut this out, or you know, whatever that is. Um, or this could be someone, the energy that this this card could represent could be fear. It could be addictions. It could be jealousy. It could be possessiveness, obsessiveness, um, lust. It's like bondage. It's something like something. Something has to give. So either someone is wants their, a Capricorn to speak the truth because we did have the Queen of Pentacles up there too. Or um, what did we have here for this one? Was that a Page of Pentacles? Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, so we have a strong earth energy here. So either someone wants someone to speak the truth here. Could be a um, Capricorn. Or um, there's something that has to be dealt with. Something there's there has to be a truth, or there, or is there's something has to stop because with the with the Ace of Swords, it's, it's either truth has to be spoken here, or something has to be removed. Something has to be cut out. Okay, so now let's go on to how things look from your perspective. Ooh. The sun, happiness. You're getting clarity or there's happiness here. Or you might be dealing with a Leo. Warmth, passion, temperance, Sagittarius energy. So we have uh, Leo and Sagittarius here. But I feel like um, from your perspective, this could balance out. You're being patient. That someone Maybe you're waiting for someone to do something here. And you're being very patient, but you're, you're thinking this could be your happiness, but things have to change. Okay, now from their perspective. Ooh, the Knight of Pentacles. Wow. We have another pentacle here. Okay, their perspective. Maybe things are moving too slow. Or maybe they're, they're thinking you're going too slow or they're going too slow. This could be also someone thinking, you know, what? I have to, they might be thinking, I don't, I shouldn't rush this. I have to take my time. I have to do this correctly. So let's see. I mean, there's different energies, so it's going to be different for everyone. Something about music. There might be a connection to music. Maybe you guys are in the music industry or, or someone is, 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 <laughs> someone is, or maybe you just share the, the same um, love for music or you like the same type of music. Ah, but there is a competition here or this person might be worried they might be worried about competition or they might be worried about arguing with you or that you're not going to be on the same page about something or other interference here five is changed so let's get the word on this knight of pentacles 
change. See, five is change. And we got change, present, important, past life, confused. Okay, this person might be confused about the past life type. Maybe they don't believe in it. So maybe they say, but they might want to change the present. Or they, the, change, the present could be in the present. It could be a present they give you. Or it could be they're presenting you with something. But there's something about changing something important. And some I think someone's confused about whether or not there's a past life. If that's, that's real or not. Uh, maybe they're not buying into it. Maybe they say, no, I don't think so. Maybe that's where you don't, you're not on the same page. And that would have, you know, I think, I think years ago, I think you could be like, it's okay if you don't, I don't know. Now I think everybody's getting like more enlightened, more spiritual. So I think if someone doesn't believe on the same page or something like that, it's probably not, it's going to be, a, it's going to be a, a deal breaker. Uh, I don't know. Or it could just be someone's confused about something about a past life. They could be totally in saying, yeah, I believe this, but I'm confused by something. Or maybe they're not confused about the past life. <laughs> they might be confused about this life. Okay, let's see. I'm not going to dwell on that anymore. Um, how does your energy flow together? Ooh, it moves pretty quickly here was there like like did this take off fast like as a hot passionate fast energy or do you when you get together do you move quickly or something moves quickly hmm. let's see cancer energy of the chariot let's see what else we get three of cups yeah it might be fast to party or fast to go out or fast you just do things quickly together maybe have a good time Okay, now let's see about um, possible outcome. Okay, Eight of Cups. This is coming up. Someone might be deciding to walk away or they need to walk away from another connection, either you or your this person, in order to be with you. Or, you know, vice versa, whatever. Yeah, there has to be some kind of ending here. Someone needs to walk away and end something. Judgment has to make that judgment call to move on. Okay, we have the hermit. Someone might have to be going within maybe. This is an energy you don't see yet. You could be dealing with a Virgo. This could be someone needs to go within to maybe face the dark night of the soul here. Maybe to um, figure things out. Or to find themselves, to look for something here. You know, the hermit usually has the lantern. And they go look and they go seeking they have to learn something. I almost feel like, okay, this person's saying, okay, I feel something here. I know something's going on, but I'm not exactly sure what is the energy I'm feeling. It's like, I feel like someone's a little like, okay, I'm not, I think the person that you're dealing with is not as spiritually advanced as you, but they, they want to get there. They want to understand it. They're just not there. I mean, we're all on, you know, different parts of our path where we're, but where we're, we're supposed to be. Maybe you're a guide for them. Maybe that's where the Hermit's coming in. You're being their guide. Okay, so let's see about the Eight of Cups. Two of Swords. Yeah, someone is trying to figure out if they should walk away from something. They have to decide. Okay, and I mean, we have the Judgment. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Two of Swords. And this might be a... Um, they really might have to end something. But this is a big change. When the death card comes up, that's major. That's huge. A transformation here. Scorpio energy. Let's see. Yeah, five of cups. Someone has a lot of regret, remorse, maybe that they have to end something. Or maybe they did end something and they regret it. This could be also someone that something ended with you and, they're tr and they regret what happened and they want to come back in. And they're hoping that you will, this might be you making the judgment call here. Okay, let's see. The tower. Wow. I haven't seen the tower come out that much. Um, Aries Scorpio energy. Sudden change. Something happened out of blues. Shock. Someone's walking away. Someone needs to walk away. I think when this person does walk away, someone's going to be totally shocked they're doing that. Or you're doing that. Whoever's doing it is going to be shocked. And 
There we have someone might be going within and deciding, yes, I have to move on. I have to go to my happiness. Whatever that may mean. Take it, resonates, leave if it doesn't. Okay, guys, let's see what signs we're dealing with. Because I don't have any more court cards, right? Okay, so. Could be placement, your chart, placement, other people's chart, past, present, and future. Let's see what we have. Taurus. Capricorn. Pisces. Virgo. We have all the earth sign. Well, the pentacles were coming out. Capricorn again. Strong Capricorn and Gemini. Okay, so placement your chart, placement other people chart, past, present, future. Taurus, Capricorn, Pisces, Virgo, Capricorn, and Gemini. Now we'll do the letters for initials. First name, last name. If you get both someone's initial for first and last name and they have a middle name, you know that middle name. You get that initial also all the better. Past, present, and future also your own initials. We have A. I, oop, J, D, Y, Y, N, E, A, N, D. Letters we have for today are A, I, J, D, Y, Y, N, E, A, N, D. There you go, guys. There's the letters. Now, if this does not resonate with you and checked out your sun, then check out your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. Something might resonate with you more. It might give that missing link, that missing piece. The part of the puzzle makes everything click together. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, subscribes, your comments, your super thanks. I appreciate it all. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.